Hi, this is the Weekly Horoscope for Cancer for the week of August 14th, 2023. Hello, my crabs. And I'm sorry for being late. I'm going through my personal my personal life at this time life is being life and life is doing what life does when we're going through changes and it's okay you know and every so often 10 years 20 years we experience these kitchen sink moments to let us know that you know it's kind of like again my lobster in my cave watch me die and like a lot of my a lot of my the viewers that watch me i'm gonna end up having like a ton of like fake lobsters around in like the lobster grows and evolves and change you know they're gonna be like she grew into a big lobster <laughs> oh my god if you see if i die when i die and then we see the biggest lobster no that's me okay <laughs> but it's true we all go through like these moments in life where it's like it's so horrible and so horrific and it just doesn't seem like it's gonna end but at the same time if you're spiritually evolved you just know everything that you go through is temporary and like the worse off you are the better you are off because by the time you get through whatever darkness you get through you receive a lot of blessings in your life you know and it makes you want to count your blessings so these big giant north node cardinal square this week that we're going through these big changes that we're going through in our life whatever they may be know that right after that comes big blessings and beautiful new beginnings so everything that we are dealing with at this time even myself personally is like for me i think it's more emotional transformation in me having to go through this to share wisdom and help other people evolve and again you know this is not my first time with this rodeo so you know and it just you know sometimes some of us have to go through this the crap to be a walking example in other people's lives you know so just see it that way while you're going through it show your love and support again i'm sorry i'm late and make sure to like subscribe and share thank you for everyone who has i really appreciate the love energy and thank you for helping me grow tonight after i'm done with these i'm gonna stay up late and i'm gonna do the north node 8 through 12th house Okay, so be sure to check that out. So the ninth house is really not well aspected. Wait, wait, wait. The ninth house is forming a kite energy with Neptune, but then the ninth house is at the same time not well aspected with your third house at this time. So this could be some epiphanies, clarity, self-realizations going on. This is you overcoming your fears and obstacles at this time because we have so much earth. We have the earth trine happening followed by the kite energy happening at this time with this energy here. So for some of you, this is a time where for some of you here, you are not getting along with roommate situations with this energy you could be butting heads with other people neighbors hoh at this time you could be standing up for yourself more than usual because now you know you have like this little stellum in virgo and five planets in leo in your second house and they, those two signs really don't take no shit and you're just not taking no shit from other people at this time okay so at this time you may not be getting along with certain family members because of differing of opinions you can be fighting with the landlord at this time or you can be dealing with housing associations um with your state or country because I know in different countries it's called something else for others of you this could be just getting into arguments with other people at work and butting heads with males because I find that ninth house energy deals with male energy instead of 10th house energy and an eighth house deals with female yeah you're welcome eighth house like family like um the mom your mom or how you raise your children you know how children like irritate us so I find eighth house energy deals with that ninth house energy normally deals with men um male energy energy and butting heads with males so you could be dealing with nosy neighbors you can be getting in fights with them over what's right and what's wrong you could be standing up for yourself a lot more and whatever injustice is going on in your life you are sure enough to know that it's wrong because you guys pretty much know your rules and you could be sticking up for yourself at this time you may not be in agreement 
with certain siblings in your life with this energy here and you could be fighting with your with your siblings at this time with this energy you know then on tuesday the north node this week is forming a cardinal square with juno just until tuesday and it's going to be going into the sign of leo into your second house of money so we are going to go through a lot of changes at this time for some of you this could be a move happening with this energy this could be um whoever has to leave your life let them leave your life this could be a long-term relationship coming to an end this could be the changes in your family dynamic changing because north node in the 10th house so that means that you make more than the family and you could be taking on father's responsibilities not all of you some of you okay oh my gosh my voice cracked oh my gosh so you could be taking on that and your children and you could be taking on the role of father because husband may not be very much in the picture. For some of you, husband could be traveling for work at this time with this energy or your significant other could be traveling for work and getting a lot of hours so you could feel like a single parent in your life at this time and spending more time with your children. Your financial situation could be going through changes for better or for worse. It depends on your natal chart. Then Neptune in retrograde in your ninth house with the kite energy with the seventh, eleventh, and ninth house. So this is a positive time for changes plus we have fire trying happening and then we have like um a kite energy happening with vesta so it's air energy at this time as well so this is good news coming up for you for some of you, you could be traveling for work with this energy or your work could be transforming you to other transferring you to other parts of the company this energy for others of you this could be getting good news in regards to a loan here as well for some of you this could be a move happening but for more more likely travel a lot of clarity a lot of common sense is coming to you so you could feel a little bit more confident in yourself you could feel like this is a time of empowering yourself taking back your power taking back control over your situation creating boundaries with others and especially others that you you know the the ones that you the friendships the relationships that you put on a pedestal um those relationships now you could be like eh, eh nah you know and saying no to them at this time all right and it could be because you know like for some of you certain things are not going your way at this time with this energy so this is kind of like you and you do this a lot especially when um when other planets when when planets go like retrograde you know during this time period you tend to be a little bit more aggressive about your power and you tend to be a little bit more tenacious about your good energy and keeping your good energy to yourself whenever the planets go retrograde and chiron's in retrograde at this time in your 10th house so you definitely don't have any shits to give at this time you're like uh-uh not my circus not my monkey not my problem Bye bye you know Bye bye <laughs> you're not having it because it's like uh-uh you're not coming in this pool and throwing your misery at me when i'm going through my own misery you gonna have to figure yourself out i'll give you wisdom and advice but you're not gonna like what i have to say because i'm gonna be straightforward and honest and i'm gonna rip the band-aid off but remember my fabulous crabs how many times people have cr have have you cried on other people and they have ripped the band-aid off for you okay so you know be nice so then let me see then wednesday with the new moon energy this could be whoever has to leave your life let them leave your life let them leave your life your social circle could be changing at this time also with this energy um keep your ears out and stuff like that because i do feel like friends or certain family members at this time if you're looking for a new job or need help looking for a new job at this time they could be helping you at this time looking for a new job or this could be friends at work could be pointing out job opportunities that are presenting themselves and that you should apply for at this time this so you could find yourself this could be a time for like good time for word of mouth this could be a good time for others speaking up on your behalf because they think you're a good employee and they know that you love your job this could be friends saying to you come stay with me for a while so you can get back on your feet but some of you may be too prideful to accept help or to give get advice from other people because you're not ready to change with certain situations in your life because it could be a situation here where you're disappointed that a specific person in your life that you did call friends weren't there for you and now you're kind of just like anytime somebody offers you help or whatever you're kind of like turning it away so don't you know swallow your pride at this time and again take whatever help is being offered to you at this time don't be picky when it comes to jobs because everything is temporary you know a job is a job you know because a lot of times with cancers and libras what i hate 
what I damn hate and I'm and, and I'm slick just like y'all I'm just as slick so don't try to pull that wool over my eyes I can't find a damn job and Sagittarius and Taurus does this too y'all do this so you go oh my god I haven't found a job yet bullshit bullshit you haven't found a job that you didn't like that didn't pay the amount of money that you wanted for yourself that's what happened and you know what a lot of times that is freaking true okay so you know get any old job continue applying for jobs you know I know that those of you in Europe that's a little bit more complicated to do that they have a little bit of a more complicated system they have something called like contracts and then I think it's a, I think they go after contract jobs because it's more money and then they try to stay away from regular like like salary paid job or like hourly wages job because they pay less so the European one that's a little bit more complicated because they're really looking for that contract job for some of them not all of them and it's really hard to get a good paying job that pays salary or hourly that's a regular paying job you know so it gets a bit more complicated I do those readings too it gets a little bit more complicated so but it's because after a certain like seven months or something their contract is up sometimes they get renewed and then sometimes they just got to go away you know so you know it could be a situation like that where you're being really picky at this time when it comes to jobs because you're looking for that one that has job security okay and it may be a little while before you get that specific job that you want because all planets are in retrograde meanwhile while the planets are in retrograde get that little job and then you know help yourself by putting the energy out there continue applying for jobs and then quit that little job and then go you see we can do that in the states in Canada, they can't do that. I think the Canada got the same thing as Europe now, too. So, you know, do that. Just take the job, and you can always apply for another one when Mercury goes direct. So this is like you being confused about a situation at this time and not knowing what direction to take and taking everybody's advice and listening still, but not taking everybody's advice at this time with this energy. For some of you, even sticking your nose up because it's not what you want to hear at this time. And then on Thursday, there is a time to show your bubbly, optimistic side, especially when it comes to job interviews, or you need to speak up once and for all because there could be opportunities to grow or even even ask if there's any places that you can go grow at work at this time um, for others of you there's I, I feel like I feel like you could be bubbly and optimistic at this time and others are sure to help you help you when you are bubbly and optimistic you appear as a person who has been tested by challenging circumstances circumstances but at the same time possess a cool head and warm heart towards others in your dreams on the 18th and 17th Juno on the 15th entered Leo and this is going to be in your second house of money at this time so for some of you here you benefit through partners not the best time to mingle if you're single because Mercury is in retrograde but it can happen okay then the south node for some of you is making you look at certain realities a bit differently so there could be self-realizations happening truth coming out either you have had um, been deceived or you've been deceiving yourself or others were making you believe that something was really like a relationship when it wasn't um and you may not um be trying what is going on oh my gosh i swear i have like, these little flyaways coming into my my face and you may not or you could be trying to still like wish it into fruition or still want to see what you want to see at this time like you're not over it you know and i don't blame you and i've been there and done that all the crabs have been there and done that you know especially when you're crushing on somebody and it's very confusing because it's like you really want to see what you want to see at this time and there's no telling you no and i hate those readings <laughs> me too this is like the sad ones because i have to like talk people off bridges and be like no it's okay you know oh my gosh so it's like that it's really confusing time for you emotionally especially with the crushes and especially if somebody knows that you have a crush on them and they're like totally giving you like mixed signals and you don't know if you're coming or going you don't know what this person wants and you're just like watching like like ugh you know you may feel isolated at this time um, it is as if others are operating on different speeds than you others may not agree with your way of looking at life you should be careful about looking at things too seriously or narrow-mindedly which could lead you to forget the brighter side of life at this time you're likely to experience depression and be blindsided by obvious solutions you're more prone to slights and missed opportunities now your mental concentration is increased there is more emphasis 
on attention to details in your communications with others. You may have problems communicating with relatives. Others are prone to misunderstand you at this time because of Mercury and retrograde energy coming up. Um, Mercury goes retrograde on the 23rd, so check out my monthly horoscopes as well. So the first card I come up with is revelations at this time. So for some of you, this is a time of revelations. Epiphanies could be happening for you during this time um, period. For some of you, you could be coming out of grieving with this energy or having some kind of spiritual awakening. So this is taking back your power. Like I said in the astrology, I said that. I said that. Taking back your power with this energy, okay? So that could be you doing that during this time period. Alrighty. The Sun card. Ooh, it doesn't mean this. Okay, so sometimes, sometimes what happens is like I love this deck. I love the illustrator of this deck. I love this deck. If he is listening or watching, I love Wayne Rodney. And he's the illustrator and writer of Global Fusion Intuitive. This is his guidebook. I don't use it. <laughs> but <laughs> I have some. <laughs> they come with every tarot deck. Um, but I love these cards. And these cards, like, literally, some of these cards, some of the tarot cards that I have talk to me. I don't use a lot of them because where I do, like, a lot of readings, you know, the like I told, like, the auditor, the oils on my hands get, like, you know, it's art. So the oil on my hands. But I love these cards so i'm hearing okay so he does not mean this but truth is going to be revealed at this time for you okay and i feel like this could be a time where you're really going to stand out this is a time where you're going to take back your power when it comes to certain situations in your life so this could be a very empowering time for you this week but i feel like once you hear this truth being revealed that you're going to be very happy i see on the job training happening with this energy i feel like ooh, okay okay not for everybody but i feel like as i connect with this energy i feel like it's going to be a situation here where like somebody was talking like mad shit about you about something that you were doing not even doing like making up stories or lies you know or just the just making stories about you and it wasn't true and you know and then you actually get to have a conversation with somebody about like what's true what's not true and then it turned out like oh okay like you know how it was like all like a misunderstanding or something you know and that doesn't mean that either but that's what you know sometimes you just got whatever okay so like as a tarot reader whatever you pick up you just kind of have to go with the flow you can't just like you know oh this means this this means that if you're feeling some kind of way say something because sometimes sometimes you're right you know and then it's something that's coming up because you know it's about the future it's not about sometimes it's about your current and sometimes it's about your past it just depends if you want a personal reading with me check out my consultation page at the end of this at the um, bottom of this video but this could be on the on the job training coming out at this time this could be you training for something very specific at this time that's going to set you apart from everybody else or you'll be like working in your own cubicle and be your own person that's in charge to a specific task at this time you could also be a stickler for the rules with this energy and taking your job very seriously at this time because it's a new responsibility and it's something just pertaining to you and what you're good at so if you're like good at organizing and getting things organized like for example i have a cousin that works for i think big lots or tarjay and she was like what did she do Oh, she's the one. She created a job for herself, for the whole entire company, which I'm very proud of her. She, I think it's Tarjay or Big Lots. I don't know which one she works for, but she works for one of those things. She goes around, basically the big company, and then she tells you what is a useless item for the, she like basically helps you save money like helps the company saves money that's what she does and that and that and it wasn't even a real job but she started doing it at her job and she started saving her job a lot of money and then they turned her what she did as a little hobby into a real career so she basically like an auditor but she's not no she's basically like an actuary but she's not an actuary but it's like an actuary but instead of dealing with numbers she deals with physical products that they actually don't 
need because it's like a waste of money that kind of thing okay there we go that's what she does that's what she created for herself so it's gonna be like something like that that happens to you where you create something for yourself to do because it needs to get organized and it and it can be a little bit of a problem area at work that needs to get organized and sorted out so you could be specifically in charge of that situation but I feel like for some of you here it could turn into a big job the ten of coins puts an emphasis on money so this could be money worries or more money coming in trust your intuition this week with this energy Neptune is forming a kite energy at this time with your ninth house pay attention to your dreams your dreams could be very um, prophetic for some of you again north node in your 10th house you can become the matriarch or the patriarch of your family the page of cups I feel for some of you here there is new love around you I feel like this person could be older than you or this person may have a stable job with this energy here as well with this energy but also this could be dating at this time we're getting to know somebody this could be somebody that you already know a family friend all right could be interested in you as well i see un unrequited love so this could be like with a family friend the seven of cups i see lots of thoughts of future 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 with this energy for some of you this could be playing with the stock market at this time and um playing with like yes playing with stock market or bitcoin with this energy as well Alrighty, the moon card, I feel for some of you here that there's a lot of confusion going on. Like I said, in the in the weekly astrology, there's a lot of confusing going on at this time in regards to certain people that you want. OK, and you don't know if you're coming or going. There's a lot of like mixed messages or mixed signals happening to you and you don't know what's going on. You don't know if this person, this could be like a family friend and they could be giving you like all sorts of mixed signals at this time. Let them give you your mixed signals, okay? But at the same time, continue doing you. Continue being beautiful, continue, you know, working on yourself, delving into self-care, you know, like I'm crushing on somebody at this time and I just make myself beautiful. I go work out, I eat well, you know. And I just do my own thing, you know, and I'm just working on myself. So that's what I do because he giving me mixed signals. He's doing all this stuff too. So I'm just like, whatever you go do you, boo-boo. Whenever you feel like coming over here, come talk to me. You know, because some men, they're just shy. Some men are confused. You know, they don't know what they want, you know. So a lot of things can be going on in this person's life at this time. So there's like a lot of confused mixed signals at this time with this energy. But eventually there will be clarity onto the situation, okay? I feel like you're becoming more independent, self reliant doing things for yourself I feel like this is a great time for those of you in media and social media for some of you you could be creating a blog for yourself as well with this energy here the six of coins a time for destiny you could be very giving with this energy and going above and beyond for other people in your life I feel for some of you here there are rumors flying around at this time so where there's smoke there is fire but i would be careful with this so don't get caught up in the in the gossip and then in the drama with this energy for some of you you could be a marketing genius this week with this energy Ooh, the star cards in reverse oh no oh no are we dealing with a lost cause oh wait. i'll turn her right oh, sorry so somebody could be putting you on a pedestal somebody could be crushing on you from afar with this energy as well we'll keep her positive because i don't want no tears on here so she is like you know somebody's putting you on a pedestal somebody's thinking about you this could be hope reign supreme at this time with this energy the card was in reverse so for some of you here you know you could be a little bit wishy-washy you know trying to force things into fruition at this time with this energy a lot of emotional confusion going on because she was in reverse so watch your emotional self try to be about facts during this time period not about what you want to see at this time okay because i feel like you know certain things could be a bit distorted you could be led astray at this time with this energy people could be people could be lying to you at this time so i would be careful with this energy here okay i feel for some of you here again a great time for those of you in media and social media at this time for some of you this could be getting extra work um for film industry or getting work for film industry at this time so i see that coming up for some of you here with this energy so that could be a beautiful energy time for that the um ooh, Somebody is not at peace. Oh my gosh. And then, so, you know, these two cards were in reverse. So the answer is no to whatever question I did not answer is no. I am sorry. Okay. Um, but you are not at peace. 
with this energy this is like a real emotional confusing time for some of you here with this energy so it's best to focus on what you can control um that's what i've been doing to help me remove detach from certain situations that I'm going through personally, even though I've been working through my demons, but I have been meditating, praying, like working out every day, eating healthy, you know, and um, journaling my thoughts and my feelings to try to let go and detach from this situation, you know. It doesn't help that my situation's kind of in my face, and then it's like, what the hell, but whatever. All right, I see social media. Some of you, somebody could be spying on you or you could be spying on this person here. Try not to read too much into it, you know. I would let it go. I feel like, you know, you could be... I think that with the social media, it could be very confusing because you could be assuming like, oh my God, this person sent me a picture. and But they didn't like it. They sent a picture for, on their page. They didn't put it on your page. They didn't send it to you. And you're assuming like you guys are like psychically connected and stuff like that. So I would be really, really careful with this energy here and just like taking things a little bit too far at this time with the social media. Don't read too much in what you see and, and what you want to see at this time because you could be reading into like these messages that you're creating in your head, you know? So I would be very careful with that, alrighty? It's, sometimes it gets very tricky with these things, okay? Ooh, there is a no for somebody and I am so sorry. There is a big no. The lover's card deals with contracts and negotiations. You can have like a psychic connection with somebody, but at the same time, it's very distorted. Like this person is like not communicating with you, not doing anything to you, not showing you anything. You know, for some of you, especially my males, you need to ask this person out or you need to friend request them and kind of get the communication and the ball rolling instead of sitting on your hands and doing shoulda, woulda, could have. I feel like for some of you, this person's your muse or this, or you could be this person's muse. I do feel like, you know, for some of you here, you could be psychically connected to this person because you're so invested in this person that you could predict this person's move, which is awesome, you know. Um, but at the same time, you know, be a little bit cautious that nothing is like really like what is actually happening between the two of you, you know. Because I don't feel like this person is contacting you, communicating you, saying anything, doing anything, and you just assuming, you know. Like, it's kind of like the girl that's, like, dating my, my ex, and she's, like, married. Oh, yeah, it's, it's Hillbilly Telemundo drama. It, it's so much fun to watch. I love the Hillbilly um, edition of Telemundo. It's so much fun. Y'all need to, like, invest, and somebody needs to start that stuff up. So the Hillbilly Telemundo thing, like, I read all the text messages, and, like, he doesn't do nothing. He, you know, she says, I love you. How many kids you want? I think she's pregnant, but whatever. That's another story for another time. <laughs> but the point is, is that he doesn't do anything. Like, he doesn't do nothing. He eats her food. I don't even know if they sleep with each other or anything, you know? But you're just assuming that this is happening. This is what you want to happen, but it's not happening. But then, this card here, Six of Coins and Lovers card, it can happen. So it's very confusing, very confusing energy. So let whatever needs to come in to just come in with this energy here, all righty? Um, but I totally get it. Oh, my God. Somebody has, like, so many. Okay, so there's, like, no. No, no, no. No stability in this relationship. No stable relationship. But then when you flip it over, he means stable relationship. Um, you're very much in your damn head. So I would just be careful with this energy at this time. Go with the flow. You may have to be patient with this energy um, and see what happens. Um, love will happen to you. But again, you have to be patient. It will come in the distant future. For a lot of you, so maybe after Pluto goes direct, so I would give it till November and see what happens with this energy here, you know, I mean, I love love too, I have a crush on somebody, but at the same time, I'm going to continue looking good, living my best life, and being fabulous, you know, and that's all I can do is do me and focus on me, 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 all right, and you should focus on you, 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 all right, because at, because at this time, you know, it's not going to be a mental, you have to be about your emotional self and your peace of mind. But I do see for some of you stability. I do see this person, you have their heart. I do see emotional stability with this person at this time. I do see a psychic connection um, with this person as well 
truth could be revealed for some of you here with this energy. I do see clarity on that. Okay. I do see a new love coming in for you as well. So it's up to you what you want to do with this energy here. All righty. I get it. I'm going through it myself and I'm just, I'm here for the journey. I'm here for the process. You know, I'm not, I'm focusing on me right now and that's it. And if this dude decides to show up, mazel. If this dude don't show up, then mazel, you know, sometimes we just need a distraction. Like maybe I just need a distraction right now and he's my distraction. You know, kind of like, oh, let, let, you know, God's like, here's your, here's your Henry Cavalli. Let me just like get, get you away from this, from this um, other relationship for now. So you could just focus on something fun and fun. And, you know, as long as it's like fun and it doesn't make you sad and stuff like that, it's okay. But once it starts making you sad, depressed or whatever, it's time for you to really think about disconnecting from that too. So just be aware of that at this time. I do feel like this person may put you on a pedestal with this energy. The Ace of Wands, taking creative risks, being open-minded to new things during this time period as well with this energy here, being more in a place of yes with this energy, being more about your social life at this time with this energy as well. The Five of Cups, there's a breakup happening for some of you here with this energy. Um, so I see that coming up. For some of you, you may not be getting along with Father. This could be thoughts of Father coming up with this energy here as well. For some of you, Father may not be financially supporting you at this time with this energy here. Or Father may not be, Father could take away your phone. Father may not be supporting you with this energy okay or this could be a financial institution not supporting you at this time as well and kind of taking things away from you with this energy the queen of coins i feel for some of you here that you benefit through the women in your life with this energy here and the women in your life could be taking care of you as well during this time period or more supportive of you or helping you out in some kind of way during this time period okay you could also be living with mother or one of the women in your life at this time okay for others of you i feel like Whoever this person is at this time, they're not opening up or wanting to open up about their feelings towards you at this time. So for some of you, you may, if, especially my male crabs, you may have to have a discussion with this person. All right. But I do feel like this person keeps to themselves with this energy, can be super secretive. You could also be the other woman as well with this energy. So this person could also still be married or in a relationship at this time is what I'm seeing. All righty. The justice card, major decisions are coming up. For some of you, this could be dealing with contracts and negotiations. For some of you, this could be getting married, engaged at this time. So mazel, 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 mazel. The, oh, another question. So there's no growth. There's no spiritual growth coming from this. But then when you flip it over, I scratch your back, you scratch my back, and we help each other grow. A great time for alliances with this energy. This is a great time um, dealing with partnerships and other people. For others of you, a love relationship can come in, okay, in the future, that is going to be, I help you grow, you help me grow, and we help each other grow. Okay, that's going to be very good. A lot of stability with this love relationship here as well. You could also be dealing with somebody who's very analytical, an earth sign, very analytical, in their, and probably a little bit in their head about this situation okay not wanting to make the wrong decision or again they're in a relationship for some of you this could be dealing with somebody that's a trickster a player okay a good talker you could be dealing with an aquarius or a gemini or leo or scorpio okay the oh no turn of events here so for some of you, you could be receiving an unexpected wow you cards are talking an unexpected message at this time for others of you there's no there's not going to be any changes at this time and then for others of you this is going to be secrets being revealed and you may receive an unexpected message over the next few weeks with this energy the five of swords i feel for others of you here that this could be dealing with gossip at this time for some of you, you could get harassed with this energy here as well with other people so i would be careful with other people so this could be like a situation at work that is not going to change at this time with this energy here can you please go clean yourself somewhere else thank you um and you know you could be like getting harassed and bullied so for some of you here you're not happy at work at this time Okay, and I feel like you could be like having one foot out the door, one foot in the door, but you're doing this with, with planets in retrograde and Mercury in retrograde, so you're not moving any, way, any place at this time, at this particular time during Mercury retrograde. You may move later. You do have a chance meeting. I do see soulmates coming up for some of you here because Pluto is going to be moving in your eighth house. Girl, girl, 
and this could be happening next year because Pluto will be in Aquarius. So, and then some of you, this could be happening when Pluto goes direct. So November, December, we're looking at um, for new serious love relationships because Pluto will be in your eighth house. Now, if you're watching for a Cancer rising, okay? But if you're watching for a different sign, then check out where Pluto is in that house, okay? The Magician card, as above, so below. So you could be manifesting this person into your life at this time with this energy here. The Nine of Coins, I see you happy here. I see a move happening, traveling coming up for some of you, overnight success happening, BB's trying to get her spiritual, her spirituality on, her two cents on at this time, did I go too far? I did, BB's, you made me go too far because you're being distraction, alrighty, I love you my fabulous crabs, show your love and support to your girl, if you would like a reading with me, check out the link in the description box below, kisses, mm.